All right. Um, and maybe you can open the stream as well to make sure it's like actually yes, working. Yes, I do have it open. <laughs> okay. Um, well, welcome back. We are once again uh, attempting to get all of the blocks in dev, and then once that's done, we'll go on to another version. Um, so I did also uh, back up the world before we started this call. Um, so if anything happens and like the world gets corrupted, instead of having to start the whole version over, we'll just have to start like uh, from the last stream, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right. So I, let's see, what did we have? We had, we had some materials. Oh, and there's still, so I guess I mentioned this during the last stream, but there's no uh, sound in this version. If I remember right, um, they were like separate from the jar and they like don't exist anymore. Um, there's probably ways to add in like modern sounds, but I don't want to figure that out. Anyway, yeah, so we needed stone tools, so I guess we can just get straight onto the stone tools. Um, what have you been up to lately? I nothing too interesting. I mean, it's spring break for us, man. So we're we are. Hold on. It looks like your stream is titled "Starting Over." Oh, that was from yeah the last time when I had to start over. Let me change that. Okay, thank you for telling me that. Um. Yeah, because last time was right after. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to change it to continuing with a smiley face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, um, also on Twitch in the like stream manager thing, it says uh, unstable bitrate. Does it, does it look good to you? It looks very smooth to me, actually. Okay. I don't know what that's about then. <laughs> I'll just ignore um, it, I guess. You, it's on, what is the settings? Yeah, it's 1080p 60fps without a problem. Okay. Alright. We have a chat member. Hello. Oh, Ethan, did I give you mod in the Twitch chat? Uh, I don't think so. Do I need it? Well, I oh, guess I mean, hurt. yeah, just in case. Um, okay, I'm going to figure out how to do that later. <laughs> uh, this is inf dev. I think this is, uh, was it 2010, uh, June 18th was when this version came out. Um, it's, it's the earliest version in the launcher that has survival mode. Um, and I'm going to try to get every block that, like, existed back then um, and then go on to the next version. And I guess between some versions, you can, like, upgrade the world, and some of them, I'm guessing you can't. Uh, so if we can upgrade... Yeah, we started not too long ago. This is, I think, the fifth stream. Um, and I had, like, a world corruption issue during one of them. So it kind of... I guess this is the second stream since then. So we're not very far into the project, and I imagine it'll take a long time to go through every version. Um, but yeah, if we can like safely upgrade the world between versions, I'm not gonna like start over. I'm just gonna like uh, get the new stuff. Um, so it might end up taking less time than we think. But yeah, we're yeah, still I pretty imagine, early on. Yeah, I imagine once um, like. Inf dev is like I, I think in the earlier versions there are much more items introduced mm -hmm. in each update, but as that like tapers off, you'll be able to fly through pretty quickly. It was just like, oh, we introduced like, you know, this like these few blocks, you get the blocks upgrade, boom. So I imagine that it starts off slow, but it'll pick off momentum. Pick up momentum. Okay. My mic is nice. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I upload the streams to YouTube afterward. It's under the same, it's under the name, uh, QM, the same name as I use on Twitch. 
Um, but like I said, there's only four of them. Um, my microphone is a blue snowball, by the way. Do I cut it? No, I don't. Um, I just like upload the raw uh, like stream. So they're all like two hours and hard to watch. Sorry. <laughs> There is the link if you want it. I guess so. The stone tools we still need, and those should be easy to knock out all at once. So, mm -hmm. I guess we could do those right now. My cat is chewing on papers that I need to grade. Oh no. <laughs> I hope that the people. I grade for are not allergic to cats because these cats do like to use their papers as pillows. <laughs> and I, I have a feeling that if someone who manages to be the first person I pass back is allergic to cats, they might not have a good time and not really be aware of why. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I have no idea how cat allergies work. Are they ever like severe? Um, I don't think they're ever severe. Uh, MC Div, yes, this was his own idea. Yeah. Um, I'm sure other people have done similar things before. Um, but yeah, I just decided one day, like, this would be a fun thing to do. And I guess as far as, like, putting it on YouTube, it would be cool to try to, like, cut it down and just have, like, the highlights. But I kind of feel like this particular challenge works better as, like, a streaming thing. Um, just because, like, I don't know, not a lot uh, happens very quickly. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, I'm probably doing it, like, not in the fastest way, because I'm trying to, like, have fun at the same time. So, like, you can see I built, like, a basic little house, and, like, um, you know, if I just wanted to, like, speed run, get diamonds, um, I would just, like, go straight down and do that, but... Yeah, I think it um, is going to be fun. I have no idea how long it'll take, and I'm not sticking to any kind of schedule. I'm just doing it, like, when I feel like. So, oh, yeah, so this is, um, I guess, a, like, museum. This was actually, uh, I wanted to do something sort of similar on, like, a little private server that I had with some friends. Um, we wanted to just, like, get every block, but this was without the, like, in every version part at the time. It was just the newest version. And so we wanted to build a like museum um, to have all the blocks in. And so I kind of stole that idea and I'm trying to make a museum here for our blocks. So I think I was putting these in alphabetical order. Um, so where do the stone tools go? Oh, and you pointed this out last time, but uh, notice how big the signs are in this early version yeah. of Minecraft. <laughs> Yeah, it's also just fun to like look at these old versions and see how different things were than they are now. Um, okay, so somewhere in here should be wool. Oh, it's gray wool? I'm sorry, I'm oh, looking no. at my spreadsheet to try to find like where mm -hmm. things are alphabetically. MC Deb, did you find us from like the front page or I know I posted a link in the Beanery server? Okay, so this is log. Front page. Oh, wow. Wow. I guess they just randomly put people there occasionally. Um, okay, so sand and then sapling. And then there's going to be two blank spots for sign and stone slab and then stick. Okay. So I'm dividing it up. I'm making chests like per version. And then within each version, it's just alphabetical. Um, and like, I probably made some mistakes when I was making this spreadsheet. So if we run into any mistakes of like this block, you can't actually get it yet. Or like, I forgot something. Um, we'll just deal with that when it happens. Okay, so stick, and then this is going to be stone, and then stone axe, stone hoe, stone pick, 
stone shovel and stone sword. Um, and I can now check all those off. And somewhere I have, okay. Copy that out of the spreadsheet into OBS. Uh, this is a little disorganized at the moment, but it works. Okay, so now it shouldn't show the stone anymore on the thing at the bottom. Okay. Um, when do I usually stream? I, I kind of don't have a schedule for it. It's just whenever I feel like it. It's probably going to be like typically on weekends, but like not every weekend. Um, I am a, a student also, so I have like classes to go to. So it's basically just if it's the weekend and I'm free and I feel like it, um, then I'll be streaming. Um, so eventually we will need to get a lot more iron. Oh, there were no beds yet. I just, <laughs> I came back to the house, uh, thinking I would like go to bed, but there was no bed. Um, right. I want to think they have beds. Let's see. Yeah, no beds. It was introduced in... Oh, I'm on Phantom. Yucky! <laughs> yucky, 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 yucky. Get, get out of here. The, the last time we streamed, didn't I tell you about the Indie Wiki Buddy extension? Yes, you did, And but I am now on my desktop instead of my laptop. Oh, I that see. That is installed on my laptop. <laughs> so let me install that on here. You know more about that than I... Add to Chrome. Oh, I okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now let's go back. Hit refresh. That's so cool. Yeah. So eventually, we do need to get a lot more iron and diamonds and gold and stuff. And um, I don't really like strip mining. It just feels like boring <laughs> but um somehow whatever i'm doing here doesn't feel like strip mining because i'm like making a large thing um i don't know but i'm just gonna like keep doing this until i run into a cave and then i'll like explore the cave probably and somewhere in the process we'll get iron and gold and diamonds and that will uh allow us to get closer to having all the items from this version. But it's going to be really fun when we get to the multiplayer version, or versions, I should say. Yeah, that was alpha something, right? Oh, I forgot. I, I was looking at it a while ago on the Minecraft wiki, and in the like version history section, it had uh, like multiplayer was added in this version, and then it had like this like massive bug was fixed in this version and like now the inventory save and like things like that so it sounds like it was a lot buggier than single player for a long time mm -hmm. so we probably wouldn't want to use it until it's like um stable enough to like uh not be frustrating Um, but yeah, it's going to be fun also just like looking at the history of Minecraft and what they have added over time and what has changed. Um, like there's no uh, sprinting in this version and there's no FOV setting, um, which I kind of thought was going to be really annoying, but it's actually not like I'm getting used to it. Um, the no sprinting thing is a little weird with like combat like you can't like run away from stuff you have to actually fight stuff um but also like the combat is so different because like as you can see there's no hunger yet um you just when you ate it would just like instantly heal you um so if you do get like uh stuck somewhere where you're fighting a lot of mobs you can gain health very quickly by just like eating a lot 
So I don't know. Um, I think the newer version, the newer combat is like, uh, there's like more going on than the older combat. Um, cause like you have to keep track of like, uh, like not spam clicking and stuff, but the older version combat is more fun in some situations if you don't want to like think as much. I don't know. I didn't really have a point to that. I was just kind of rambling. I mean, I, I agree. I, I miss the days of like having like a, a quadruple click macro on your Logitech <laughs> gaming mouse and simply causing problems in a PvP server. Yeah, I guess I was telling you about that um, that YouTube series I watched about um, like modifying Minecraft um, to like cheat on like your own personal server just as like a learning exercise, mm -hmm. um, and how I kind of want to do that on that beta server if our friend starts that, um, and I think it that would be like in the older versions um, where combat was just spam click like you could just write a client mod to spam click for you. <laughs> mm. um, so it is also like the newer thing is maybe a little harder to cheat with. <laughs> um, okay, what else do we need? So we do need a brown mushroom still. I haven't seen any brown mushrooms yet, which is kind of strange. And I also don't have any feathers, but we can figure that out when it's laid out, which it is now. Um, I don't know if I've seen any... Oh, there weren't chickens yet, were there? Was it zombies dropped feathers? Back uh, this point time? Let's find out. History of chicken added in alpha 1.0.14. Hmm. So... Can you look at the feather history and see that it used to be was it always that zombies dropped them or i i think you could get them in this version if not i need Feathers to take them out are dropped by every mob in quantity the zero to two but this was the first in depth version and then mm -hmm. it says this is 2010 06 18. 2010 pardon uh this is 2010 06 18. 06 18 um that is before 2010 I'm assuming. Uh after. After. Yeah. <laughs> I know how to read a date. Uh, yeah, okay, so zombies are the only mob that drop feathers. Okay. Cause I know it was like that for a long time, but I I I, I mean I didn't actually play Minecraft. I didn't have my own account until I think 1.3 of like release Minecraft. So even though I've I've seen a lot of old Minecraft. I don't have the, the first-hand experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was an offline player until 1.3. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was sick when you could just play, like, single player. Just say, oh, play offline. My my, my internet's not working right now. Yeah. Minecraft I mean, like, how, okay. how are and they going to attack? Let yeah. you play. <laughs> Can you still do that, I wonder? I I think I think so. I I I um let's let's look. Minecraft with the offline. You can't stack food, I forgot about that. <clears throat> as long as we get three iron per pickaxe that we use. We're going to break even. <laughs> Man. So uh, it looks like it's still a thing where if you're, um, if you've logged into an, well, this is new. If you've logged into account before that has purchased the game, it seems okay. like then you can play offline. Um, 
and then if you haven't, you can play a demo. Man, yeah. that brings back memories. They added that in 1.3, didn't they? I think so, yeah, because I remember playing the demo. 1.3.1 <laughs> demo mode added. I remember hearing about, um, like, a mod for the demo that just, like, took out the timer, and then it was just the full game. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually, I learned recently, um, there was a demo of the first Portal game for the Xbox 360, mm -hmm. um, where the way that they implemented it was once you got to the end of a certain chamber, it would put up a screen that's like, you need to buy the game to play the rest of it. But the full game was in there, and um, I mean, of course, from speedrunning, we know about like out-of-bound skips, and so you could actually out-of-bound skip the like trigger for the like demo paywall and just like play the rest of the game <laughs> which is really funny <laughs> this is not a very fast method of uh finding materials <laughs> I guess I could go look around the surface for some caves. Mm -hmm. But I'm just worried I'm gonna like get lost if I do that. Is there F3? There's no F3. When was F3 added? <laughs> what if I just look up F3? It knows what I. Oh, it does! <laughs> History. It looks like there is F3, or a debug screen, at least. Mm. Maybe F3 is not what triggers it. There's nothing about it in the controls. I don't know. Nothing I wonder if about you a can make a photo. debug screen yeah. in the options? I didn't see any. Um, let me look again. Oh, show FPS. That might oh. be it. Okay. <laughs> uh, but it doesn't have your coordinates. Just mm. the FPS. Hmm. It's kind of neat that I, I get like 150 FPS while I'm, I'm streaming. Um, it's just, it's such a simple game. <laughs> the mm -hmm. further back you go. And then it slowly gets less and less optimized <laughs> yeah. as you go along. That'll be, I, I guess, another aspect of it is like, I'll have to like upgrade my PC once we get to <laughs> newer versions. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go in a direction and um, see if I can find a cave. I should probably make some more pickaxes to bring with me though because this one's going to break pretty soon but it's also like i guess like playing on our server in like the newer version when it starts to get dark i just like sprint home mm -hmm. um and so that's another thing with like not being able to sprint is like uh if it's nighttime out you have to like <laughs> you have to like plan when you're going to start heading home before it gets dark out. Exactly. Um, okay. So I've only got enough iron to make one more pickaxe, but that'll be enough for now, I guess. Maybe I should bring some sticks with me so I can make more. And then torches. I guess that's all I really need to bring with me. Although I do actually want to expand this walkway a little more. I want to have a little path that goes down here and like around this lake over to the museum. Is it, um, how much delay is there on the stream? There is very little. Okay. It's actually, yeah, it's like maybe two to three seconds. Hmm. All right. 
So when I like point at something, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, pretty quickly. It'll be interesting too. I talked in a previous stream about um, like as we go into newer versions, when we run out of room, I want to like expand the museum. Mm -hmm. I'm still kind of thinking about how I want to do that because I kind of have no idea how I want to make the roof of it look. So I was thinking maybe I'll just like expand it upward forever. <laughs> um, although also I don't know how much longer we're going to like be able to upgrade the world. So maybe this museum will only last like two versions and then we'll, and then we'll have to make a new one. But right. assuming we can keep this one for a while, um, I'm thinking maybe I'll just like expand it upward and see how tall it can get. Um, but I also, I don't know if I want to like keep it in the same style for each floor or if I want to like use the newer stuff as we expand it. There's a cave. Don't know. Because I definitely want to like have fun in each version and like play it as though it were the newest version. Mm -hmm. um, and just like experiment with new stuff and not just go straight to find the blocks and move on. That beach is a little weird. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, fragmented. Little, little silly world generation if I hurt anyone. This cave is very short. Okay, it's been explored anyway. Oh, wait. This wasn't a cave. I saw this, how it was darker because of this overhang, and I thought it was a cave from all the way over there. It's just a... It's just, like, darker because it's under something. Happen. <laughs> um, and the sun is going down. Maybe I can go down here. This sand is very strange. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's been, like, a lot said about this, but the older generation is kind of charming sometimes. Even though it's, like, not realistic and it's weird. It could, It's still, like, you know, that is old Minecraft generation. It's very recognizable. And I kind of like how the terrain seems more, like, navigable in the older versions. Like, now there's these mm -hmm. giant mountains and, like, it's, like, here... Each of these layers goes up by one because the like it's not super steep. But now and anytime that like there is a mountain where it goes up by two, sometimes it's like not a very tall mountain. But in the newer versions you have these like giant mountains that you have to navigate yeah. and it's just like difficult to get around. It also might be worth it to investigate how to give me a mod because there are in fact spammers in the chat. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, in this version, when you pause the game, it paused the game. <laughs> I think it does it even in single player? Or am I just totally wrong about that? Well, I, that's what I'm saying is now it, it does that. Or in this version, it did that in single player. I don't know if it, like... I don't think it does that anymore. I think when they when they combined the server code base and the single player code base, it stopped doing that. Um, oh, here it is. Mod the Oracle of Him. Gaming. Okay. No, I might have just like lied and said that you can't pause it anymore, and you actually still can. Oh, there's a brown mushroom. We needed a brown mushroom, and there's one right there. Let's go. It wasn't even like, oops, it wasn't even like on the ground. It was just like an item. I guess it generated there, and then it was too dark, or too light, I mean. Oh, there's more brown mushrooms. Wait, did we need a brown mushroom or did we did we need a red mushroom? Can't remember. Oh well. 
Oh, I also, um, I talked about this before, but I clearly did not learn anything. Um, I need to be more careful about not taking fall damage since you don't like, in addition to like the food giving you health instead of hunger, since there's no hunger system, you don't like auto regenerate health. Like you have to eat to get health back. Mm. So I need to like, I'm used to just like take fall damage, whatever, I'll just regenerate it. <laughs> But now I need to, like, not take fall damage. A bunch of caves that go nowhere around here. Here's a cave. Also goes nowhere. We should um do like Minecraft trivia during these. <laughs> I agree, honestly. All right. That person has been banned. There we go. Second user banned. It's a very good milestone. <laughs> we're, 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 you're a real streamer now. <laughs> uh, okay, so I didn't get lost, which is very good. <laughs> Although, I mean, it is part of the Minecraft experience to get lost, so maybe I should do it at least once. Did you see um, in the snapshots for 1.21, they're making, like, uh, they're getting rid of, you know how in a lot of the menus there's, like, that full screen, like, dirt texture? Yes. They're getting rid of that, and they're making it, like, transparent the menus i'm not sure how i feel about that yeah it's like we've had like it, it does look nice the way that they've done it but it's also like they're getting rid of something that we've had for so long <laughs> yeah it, it's it's kind of a one why i'm curious to what the rationale is for it um i think and i've heard some other people say as well that um it's to make it more similar to bedrock because bedrock doesn't have the like dirt menus it has the transparent menus unfortunately they are kind of pushing bedrock a lot i guess just because they they can make more money on it because they can charge for mods and texture packs oh yeah they just announced that uh bedrock has mods now but hey. they're like it's like a store. You have to like buy the mods. And you have to, you can't like make your own mods. What? Then it's not a mod. Right. <laughs> it's a <laughs> DLC. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think of that. I mean, I don't know. I guess maybe they're like made by third parties. I don't know. But you have to like buy them with like mine coins that are like you have to get by like paying. It's, it's like how you get like Robux or whatever. Yeah, no, that it exactly what you said. It's it's DLC then. It's not a mod. <laughs> a mod is, a mod is one. Not usually the people involved are. Like the I'm sorry, the people who made it are usually not involved. Right. So. Yeah, that's just DLC. What what mods do they have? Mods in quotation marks. I haven't looked at it yet. Yeah. But, um. Uh, I've. I don't. I haven't played Bedrock since. Um, I used to play the old Pocket Edition. Is that is that the same code base as what's now Bedrock? And I played the old Xbox 360 version too. I but I haven't played. They Pocket are Bedrock. like now consistent, at least like the console versions. Mm -hmm. Um. This cave oh, is wow. branching off very 
quickly? I just got an email from Twitch, and they said they banned the account of the person who posted. Oh. Nice. <laughs> what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, you were looking at what mods they have for Bedrock. Yes. Are they called mods? I forgot to bring your crafting table. Um, I think so. They're called add-ons. Oh. Well, I guess, yeah, at least that way they're not, like, pretending that they're made by other people. Well, not that they... Anyway, you know what I mean. Let's talk about add-ons. Yeah, they're called add-ons. Wasn't there an opening above me? Yeah, it was over here. Okay. I'm gonna go steal some wood from that tree so that I can um, make a crafting table so I can smelt some of this iron. Um, I haven't tested it yet, but I hope the next version has sound. <laughs> mm. Oh, this is a bit weird. If you're looking straight down, you can't see the, like, breaking block texture. Interesting little bug. They do call it DLC on um, whatever it's called. They say the add-ons are DLC. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm fighting a spider and not doing very well at it. Okay. <laughs> that was surprised me because there's no sound. And then I tried to use like new combat and <laughs> I forgot you're supposed to spam click. Oh, I already had another pick. Okay. Cool. Anyway, now I have a crafting table. Um, okay, so I guess we, we were kind of judging it a bit too harshly then. I mean, I still think the idea of, like, making you pay for mods is absurd. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I guess DLC, you know, it's it's their game. They do what they want with right. it. Um, it's, like, Java, you can't really lock that down from my understanding. Yeah. So, you know. Does Bedrock, like perform better like like performance like frame rate wise than java i is it's written in c++ plus I plus, isn't it? So. yeah i believe it's written in that uh, but i mean java compilers are pretty good nowadays aren't they and also it's written by microsoft so <laughs> <laughs> Who knows how? I mean, maybe they found a way to make it orders of magnitude worse. I don't know. Um, but I the reason I said that is like it seems like they're pushing Bedrock because it's like cross platform and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's like Java is it, it's it's Java. <laughs> like yeah, it's it, it would be cross platform. It is easier to make a Java application cross platform than like a C plus plus application. Is mm -hmm. is my understanding. Yeah, yeah, because all you need is the JRE, and yeah. like, yes, there there are um like maybe some system specific things that you could probably do, but Java was made to be cross platform, right? And like the graphics library that they use, um, it just depends on OpenGL, I'm pretty sure. So mm -hmm. it's cross platform. LWJGL so lightweight Java game library. Yeah. Um, but it's like, I, so I don't understand why they don't just make the Java version cross-platform. Well, because it's easier to mod so they can make less money on it. I mean, maybe that's not why, but that's the, like, the cynical interpretation. 
Who knows? I just, I, the day that they stopped calling it Minecraft and started calling it Minecraft Java Edition, I was like, this cannot turn out well. <laughs> mm, yeah, o o always, always moderately sussy. It's like, what, what, <laughs> there's a distinction. Why is there a distinction? It's, it, that this is Minecraft. It's the original Minecraft, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Minecraft, this was Minecraft Legacy. That. Ooh, that, that would be a real, if they called like Minecraft right. Legacy Edition. Minecraft that, one. That <laughs> yeah, yeah Legacy one. Edition. Okay. It's like uh programmer art I'm, I, I'm trying to think of a good joke and i can't so i'm just going to give you like my that's, that's idea very, and maybe you uh, can turn it into a joke <laughs> well I, I, i'm hoping if i if i give you the like idea you can turn it into a joke okay hit me okay so you know like programmer art is like is like the the art that's made by like programmers who aren't really skilled at art and they don't really know what they're doing and yeah. like it's it's charming and it's it's like nostalgic in the case of Minecraft, but it's you know that they have to they have to move on and like make something that is more polished so that the game sells better. Exactly. Um, that except instead of the art, it's like the game. <laughs> <laughs> you know well, I mean? hold on. The programmer pro code. programming. <laughs> programmer code. Yeah, programmer programming is better. <laughs> As opposed to like designed by committee. <laughs> Grammar programming. I have been claimed by a cat. I'm not even sitting on the couch. The the cat got up on the metal chair and was like, I sit here. <laughs> um, I'm a little lost. I think this way goes out. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, still no gold or diamonds, just a bunch of iron. Although it's always good to have iron. And I'm assuming those generation rules don't apply because this is literally in the death. What do you mean? Like, you go to this level, you get... Oh. Yeah. Um... I mean, I feel like they had that because I do feel like I'm seeing coal on, like, mountainsides, but not other stuff. But I don't think they're, like, the same as... I mean, obviously they aren't the same as now because they changed it all in 117. But, I yeah, I don't know what the rules are. <laughs> I'm just skipping the coal, too, because I have enough coal. Well, I only have one with me, but I have enough at the house. I had a YouTube video recommended to me this morning called Five TikTokers Who Messed With The Wrong Cartel. Yeah. And I was just I, like, I what? That, that is such an insane concept. And so I watched part of it, and it's very, like... Um, listicle pilled but also like the the guy anytime he quotes somebody who is like from mexico he does this like really strange accent like at in no. parts of the but it's not even like a, a a a hispanic accent like parts of it it sounds russian and then parts of it it sounds italian i don't know what he is doing it was really strange so i i couldn't like get through the video because i was like a uh he, he's doing the like the thing people do when they want to pad the runtime where they like say the same thing 10 times but also just like the accents were so strange <laughs> but i mean i the only reason i i started watching it was i was like this is such an absurd concept <laughs> yeah i know i've seen that too and i'm like obviously they're not going to show like beheadings and skinnings right. on youtube and stuff but like I don't really know if I want to risk it. Yeah. I don't know. 
I got I I got I went down a rabbit hole of like sending GoPros down like well pipes. Yes, and you then... sent me a lot of those videos. <laughs> and then like I got a video recommended to me that was like that was like so and so's last uh like 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 cave diving adventure or something and I was like oh okay so somebody's like retiring and then it was like <laughs> at the very start of the video it, it, it was like I want I want it to be clear that I posted this with the permission of the family and I was like I'm not watching this <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> and then I thought about it a little while later and I was like why is that on YouTube <laughs> no the, I've I've come across like like I, I sometimes go on true crime kicks just be like mm -hmm. it's mindless and I understand there are ethical ramifications of it, but I don't think they quite meet the ethical ram you, um meet the ethical ramifications. Uh, oh, there you go. Yep. Gold moment. Um no, there are you you can find if there's not gore, you can find videos of people on YouTube. It did um, the thing. Aw. If your pickaxe breaks, like, so, you know, each time you mine something, the pickaxe takes, like, one damage, right? And when it gets to zero, right. the pickaxe is gone. If the pickaxe takes its last piece of damage when you break a block, you don't get the block. So I, I lost one of those gold. <laughs> oh, that's strange. Whatever, it's just one. That's, that's how the cookie crumbles. Yeah. The um, right sorry, I, I kind of wasn't paying attention to what you were saying. Unfortunately, you can find videos of people dying on YouTube. That oh, yeah. Simply the gist of it. Yeah. If there is not, like, gore or whatever. Like, um, I, I, um, came across, it was a GoPro video of a guy, he was diving. Mm -hmm. And he couldn't get back to the surface in time. So his GoPro mm -hmm. just, like, sinks to the bottom. And hmm. it's like this is attached to a person, by the way. It's like oh. yeah. So nothing is shown, but he did technically just watch one die. Yeah, it's really strange. I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, some people enjoy watching that, and like, or I guess it's like <laughs> curiosity. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I, I, but I, I don't I, know. I really yeah, don't enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like um, there should be fewer middle schoolers on Lively, you know? Agreed. <laughs> that was not a perch. Well, thankfully, Lively is no longer a thing. Oh, really? Yeah, it got shut down. I think the guy said, like, it was too much work to, like, moderate it. And it's like, what? Moderation? Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not too surprising. <laughs> I'm in a a discord server um that's just like mp4s of every single spongebob episode ever that is a good server um are you in there i'm not but that like that concept i really oh, dig it i see uh but they for a while they had like a general chat and it was just like uh it was like just full of like gen alpha shenanigans um and so I just like never looked at it, but then they shut down the chat one day and they were like, we had to shut down the chat because of, um, uh, like illegal stuff. And I was like, what do you mean illegal stuff? It's like, it's a server for piracy. And apparently people were yeah. posting like, um, I, people were posting some, some very bad stuff in like the general chat. And then, and, and they decided it was too much work to moderate it. So they just like got rid of it. And I was like, well, I mean, it's just like a server to watch Spongebob, whatever. And, like, I didn't yeah. have a general chat anyway. Um, but the other day, they brought back the general chat. <laughs> hmm. And it it was, like... And they, they added everyone and said the general chat is now back. And there are, there's, there are like, 85,000 people on the server. Yeah. So they added everyone and said general chat is back. And it was just, like, instant screen full of slurs. Happens. But, yeah, happens. I don't know. We've kind of gotten off topic here. <laughs> there was a topic? Um, I think so. I we were talking about YouTube. Oh, I said YouTube recommended me that video. What made me think of that? I don't know.
So we are finding some gold here. I'm hoping we can find some diamonds at some point in time. I mean, I guess, obviously, they're more rare than everything else. Is there going to be lava here? No. <laughs> What's up? Oh, no, I was just couldn't find something, and I was like, why can't I find it? And then I found ah, it. I see. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Lost two iron there. Um, this cave is, like, big. <laughs> Just keeps branching. And you don't have any... There's no coordinates, so you're just kind of yeah. Um, at the mercy of. I need to find some coal. Oh, there's some coal. That was a lava jump scare. We love lava. Um, Minecraft trivia is a good idea. I actually do want to do that. Like, like Minecraft history trivia, or like, uh, like big moments in like Minecraft let's plays. <laughs> Uh, if we had like more people, anytime you ask a question, you could make like a poll, like what yeah. do you guys think? And mm -hmm. it'd have to be like really short because obviously you could just go to the Minecraft wiki right. and figure it out. And if you get it wrong, you're banned. <laughs> we simply do not need uneducated people to be yeah. this chat. This is a serious Minecraft stream for serious uh, Minecraft historians. I wonder, I mean, you know how, like, um, for the, uh, some of the, like, liberal arts requirements, um, for our university, there's, like, uh, some of them are, like, Western history, and they have, they have some interesting things about, like, like, historical media, and, like, there was one I saw that was, like, how, uh, the evolution of, like, like, by looking at the horror like movies and books that a society creates you can like learn about what that society feared at that point in time mm. and you can like mm -hmm. draw analogies between like this kind of monster represents like fear of change and this kind of monster represents like fear of uh like the environment and stuff like that yeah um which is a really neat concept but i feel like at some point in time it's going to be like uh what the history of minecraft can teach us about like evolving uh like market preferences um in like the gaming market you know i know I mean? there was one of those uh, requirement classes uh for twitch streaming oh really mm -hmm. did you was it like learning a, about like the the like i did not did, did you become um, a twitch streamer <laughs> that'd be really funny like grade you must stream by like you know right. eleven fifty nine on friday you um, need to get like seven viewers. Yeah, your your from the front page. <laughs> your final grade is like your max viewer count divided by a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. I mean, I guess there's like there's stuff to be said about like, um, like just influencers in general. Like the fact that influencing is like a thing that people do. The thing that people did before there was even money in it, people like made YouTube skits and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, there's there's something to be researched there for sure. Yeah, I, I liked it. I feel like there was a real punk ethos that before mm -hmm. YouTube took off. YouTube, what? YouTube took off. It was just kind of like, just upload whatever you think is going to do numbers. Right. And it's like, I guess for some people, it's like the like fame is what they were after yeah and then for some people it was like i just i just think this is cool and i want to tell somebody about it <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Um, and then I guess there's like, I mean, um, like, like legacy media, like has YouTube channels. I don't know how long that's been a thing for it, but I guess part of it is just like free advertising. Um, I don't know. But yeah, there is, there's an essay to be written about that. And there probably have been essays written about it already by much smarter people. <laughs> Um, I haven't seen a single diamond yet. I keep thinking I've like finished exploring this cave and then there's another branch. Hmm. Yeah, I really like, um, like, uh, I guess when we were talking about the like, Sometimes Twitch just puts random people on the front page. Mm -hmm. um, YouTube kind of does that too. Yeah. Sometimes. And like, sometimes I like it because it's just like, this is some like very small channel talking about something actually pretty interesting. And like, sometimes it's more enjoyable to watch a small channel just because it feels more like, not cozy, but like it feels more personal. Yeah. This person is not necessarily like trying to like, activate a giant audience they're just you know because once you get big you got to stay big right and you got to change in order to like because then you're just going to constantly be like I, I gotta you know grow my channel and then mm -hmm. you change and when you're not trying to grow your channel and you're just you know starting out it's it's raw i know what you mean um but on the flip side Sometimes it's like, here's my let's play of like this game, and I'm like, oh, that that is a game I've been meaning to watch, and like, I don't I don't really like all the super polished like high energy. Like, I want to see somebody learn how to play the game. I don't just want to watch like what happens after you've learned how to play the game. You know, I want to see somebody mm -hmm. play it for the first time and like figure it out, and like me figure it out at the same time with them, yeah. um, without like. A, a, a jump cut every half a second <laughs> um but anyway so sometimes like I'll, I'll see a little let's play that has like 15 views and i'll be like oh let's go i wonder what this is about and then i click on it and it's like a 12 year old <laughs> which i mean obviously that's not to say like if you are a child uh don't have fun but like i don't know i wish there were a way on youtube to be like don't show me videos that were made by children because i'm not gonna watch the video made by a child <laughs> But it, like, if you are a child, then I don't know. Maybe maybe you want to watch a video made by a child because it feels more like it's your peer. And like when I was a child, I I like wanted to be a YouTuber. Um, so like I get it, and I'm not saying children like shouldn't be allowed to make YouTube videos, but like I wish there were a way that I could personally not have to have them recommended to me. <laughs> you know. Oh man. I think we're pretty much good on iron for all the all the tools we need to make oh we need to make the armor too though i don't know I, maybe we do enough for that um in the buckets oh wait i'm i have a whole other stack up here yeah we have enough iron for everything now i'm pretty sure um but we still do need quite a bit more gold and obviously quite a bit more diamonds I'm hoping if I could like finish this version today, that would be really cool. That would that would find if, if there was something in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> that that would really get the ball rolling because this is like a large chunk of stuff. Yeah. That you can finally just say like, boom, well, we've got it. And then I'm assume again, assuming that after this, what's added is not as much each time. I mean, some versions have a lot of stuff, like 1.8 had a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. Caves and Clips has a lot of stuff. But, like, yeah, a lot, of, uh, most of the versions are just like, uh, you know, now you can make stairs out of, out of this block, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, or, like, or, like, we added 
a new biome, so there's like three blocks from that biome, that kind of thing. Yeah. Is how it seems to me. I mean, in the early versions, there's also a lot of like, this block was in creative, but there was no way to get it yet. So like we added uh we added sugar cane so that you can get paper to make books to make bookshelves, or like we added clay so that you can make bricks. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, for sure, I think this first version is is one of the bigger ones. Um, and I mean, these items weren't all added at the same time either. It's just this is the first one that actually has survival. Oh, that's totally true. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, it makes sense that this is such a large chunk. Because it's, it's really all the versions that were before this. Um, do I have any armor? I think I can make full iron armor now. I have so much iron, I think I'm just going to, like, wear this armor and not put it into the museum. Look at that. Full iron armor. There you go. Now you get to update your spreadsheet. <laughs> well, I'm not, it's not in the, it only counts if it's in the museum. Oh, that's so true. Yeah. You're right. We do not get to update the spreadsheet. <laughs> um, but I think we get to we get to update the like, the like, big moments in in Minecraft Let's Plays uh, list. The trivia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when did when did when did I, me specifically, first get iron armor in this Let's Play? I'm gonna just do eight more of these and then get moving because we've been sitting here for a while. Yeah, I guess with the uh, I need to figure out a way to have OBS like because I I I'm like updating the thing in that spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just like manually copying and pasting into a text field in OBS. But mm. I know that you can have OBS like read from a file and like update the text field when the file is changed. Right. So I'm trying to think of like either I'll make some kind of like local thing or I will like, because you can, you can write like extensions to like Google Drive and like JavaScript. Yeah. So I wonder if I could write an extension to like, um, like this. This is probably way more complicated than it needs to be, and maybe you can think of a simpler way to do it. Have like a very simple little application running on like my server, that just like you can post to it, um, and you can like. So, okay, th this is my idea, basically. When I update that cell in the sheet, the extension sends a, like, um, like a post to this server, and then, like, with the new value for the, for the, for the cell. And then, at the same time, I have a little application running on my PC that is, like, holding a connection open to the server. And the server over that connection tells my PC, tells the program on my PC that like the, the item list has been updated. And then that program on my PC like outputs the new item list to the file that OBS is reading from. Right, can you think of something simpler than that? <laughs> uh, you could just have the spreadsheet be local. That is true, yeah. I, I was thinking about making a little like Python thing, um, and either storing it as like a CSV or as like a yeah, SQL no, yeah. database. Just that, like, or maybe an SQL database or a CSV or something like that. Like, I feel like you don't need to bridge it with Google Sheets. Right. Okay. But I was also hoping, like, once it gets multiplayer, like, well, I guess maybe, no, I was going to say, once it gets multiplayer, other people add stuff, they have to, like, tell me. You know, and then I have to update the sheet myself. Whereas with Google Sheets, they could all update it. But then I was thinking, well, maybe it's better to to like have like a ceremony <laughs> uh, 
where it's like you know oh you 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 got all the all the diamond stuff you know meet me at the museum and we'll we'll like put it in the museum on stream hmm. yeah i don't know yeah so i think i i want to write a little local thing or i don't know i was thinking either like uh like dig out the end curses manual <laughs> Or oh just God. do a little like GTK thing because I haven't done too much in GTK aside from that core war thing, right? So I might want to try to make it in GTK just so I can like get more practice with GTK. Don't know yet. Um, and I guess also having it in a Google Sheet, I was like if this ever like takes off and becomes a popular thing i could have like a link to the google sheet um in like a discord server or whatever where people mm -hmm. could like get updated but i guess at the same time i could just like after every stream post it somewhere yeah um and also like it's not a problem i need to worry about <laughs> anytime soon yeah no not really we wait until I mean, we got, at one point, like, two people, yeah. two other people in here, and they came from whatever it's called. Front page. I got a feather. Did you, did you see that? I did not. We got the feather. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Um, do I still need string? I think I do. I guess that's another benefit of having it be on a Google Sheet is you can check for me if I have an item or not. Oh, that is true, actually. <laughs> Just have a Git repository. <laughs> and, like, update it after every item I get. <laughs> Markdown table. <laughs> Good luck parsing. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't be too bad to parse, but it's not very kind for data analysis purposes. Right. understand how like is the view counter on twitch like buzzed like it says one viewer but i know you and i are both viewing it i assume it doesn't count yourself oh i see that could be it It's, I have like, I'm I'm watching it from the mod view, because I was like going in to ban that spammer, and there's right. like all these widgets. Like this, this is like a real dashboard. Oh yeah, I know. I I have the it, dashboard on my second monitor, and it's like and it, you can you can customize the layout. It's awesome. Yeah, and it's it's so funny because there's just like one viewer. <laughs> this, this, this massive dashboard for like a one viewer stream and the viewer is you <laughs> yeah <clears throat> yeah I like I have the like auto mod Q widget open as well and it's like I guess maybe I need to look at the auto mod settings a little more because I feel like stuff like the the spam we got earlier should be picked up by auto mod. Yeah, I agree. Like I've but... I've seen that exact message before. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> what? Oh, also we found out from um the the from the beta server that uh 
the like authentication servers have like changed the the like protocol over time and mm -hmm. so you can't join beta servers in online mode anymore with the like the real authentication servers interesting um and in fact if you try to the the client just like instantly hangs um just kind of interesting so if we do the multiplayer thing we'll have to figure out how to like um because like a whitelist doesn't really work if it's not online mode because you can just lie about your username right um so we'll have to think about that if we end up doing that maybe we could have it like you have to like vpn into somewhere <laughs> <laughs> uh that's probably too complicated well i mean that's essentially what hamashi was i don't know what that means uh it was a thing where you connected to someone's computer over it like and grok i don't know what that is either oh man um it's something it, it's a bridge it's okay. it's a it forwards network things networks to that other person oh okay. and hamachi like sets up essentially a vpn Mm -hmm. where all of network traffic is redirected to that person's computer as if they were a server, but they are, in fact, a client to a network. Okay. I see. Hmm. Oh, and that, yeah, so that's for, like, getting around port forwarding, isn't it? Right. Okay. Because you are not a server, you are a client. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... Do do those sorts of things have like authentication? Like you need like a like an SSH key type thing? Um to my knowledge, no. You just need the IP that you're given, but the IP changes every time. Okay. Hmm. So well, anyway, we'll have to think about it once we get closer to that point in time. It just keeps going. I'm going to run out of torches again. Oh, I've been over there. Interesting. Uh, okay, I do have wood still. Okay. I want to leave a little bit of... A few sticks for some more pickaxes. Okay, so basically my vision is like have the server run somewhere that's like not port forwarded mm -hmm. and have it to where you like somehow like with an SSH key needed <laughs> you can VPN into like that server itself or the same like machine I mean that the Minecraft server is on. Right. And then just like connect to localhost. Or I guess it wouldn't be localhost because that would get picked up before it went to the VPN. But however that would like actually work. Yeah. Um, but I want it to be like where only you and I can get on it <laughs> and not just like anybody. Yeah. Um, the alternative is like just mod the server. So that, like, when you log in, you have to, like, enter a passphrase Man, that's... before you can log in. That's probably simpler. Probably too much extra work. Okay. I feel like doing that SSH thing would be more than sufficient. Oh, and that would, like, we wouldn't have to redo it every version, too, if we do the SSH thing. Yeah. Okay.
Um, I don't, there might be more to this cave, but I'm getting kind of tired of caving, so I'm going to go back. But yeah, we have our, uh, our iron armor. This is how F5 used to look. I, I just love the absolutely wacky, like... The arm movements? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's no way to look at, like, your face in the F5 mode. I just went in a circle. Oh, um, that's not a good sign. I think this is where I went before, so I'm about to go in another circle, maybe. But let's see, if I go... This way. That brings me to. Oh, maybe I need to go up here. Okay, now I'm outside. Uh, and now the question is, how do I get home from here? <laughs> um, and it's nighttime and I don't have any food. Okay. I need to go somewhere high up and look around. I was on a shore and I don't see any land that direction, so I'm going to go this direction. And even if it's not this way, I'll be able to see further from the top of the mountain. Oh, it's right there. Okay, perfect. Let's go. That was a pretty good uh, caving trip, I would say. We got... Uh, over two stacks of iron. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> and 15 gold. Which I guess, can you check if I've gotten gold ore yet? Um, gold and iron ore. Oh yeah, I can check the sheet. Forgot that. Or, 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 Gold ore is not checked off. You want me to check it off? No, 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 no. That's right. You got it. You got it. That is so true. I have gotten flint, though, right? Uh-huh. We'll see. I like how we, we both did that. <laughs> I, I, there is one brain cell and it is shared by a new sex. Sure. Okay, so I'm going to bring these guys over. So, feather. Oh, I do already have flint. Okay. But a feather and a furnace and gold ore and iron ore I just got. Okay, so feather is going to go before flint. And then Furnace is going to go after Flint and Steel. Gold Ore 
let's see, after glass, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then gold ore. So one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, and then gold ore. And maybe I should have brought an ingot with me too, but whatever. Um, and then iron ore is going to be after the iron ingot. Okay. And did I check gold ore off? I didn't. Okay, great. So that's a little bit of progress anyway. Let's go. And now I can copy this and put it into the thing. Perfect. Yeah, I, I mean, that whole process isn't super streamlined, but like it doesn't happen very often, so. Yeah. Whatever. Um, you can I guess get I wood can tools pretty quickly. Oh yeah, I can get wood tools, and I I think I can just get all of the iron stuff right now. Mm -hmm. And a torch. And a torch. I already have a torch. Well, we'll do that in a second. Okay. So, do I need all the wood tools? Uh, yes. You do not have any right. of them checked off. And then stone and iron. Mm -hmm. Do and I already you also stone? have the stuff to make a rail? I'm assuming. Uh, yes. Okay, let's let's do one thing at a time. <laughs> okay. So stone, not stone, wood tools. Okay. So I'm gonna make a wood pickaxe, and a wood axe, and a wood shovel. Oh, that was not an axe. This is an axe, and then a wood uh sword okay all the wood tools and then we'll get the iron ones you can't um shift click stuff yet which i am going to be really happy when they add that in So I made all the iron tools. And then I need to make the iron armor as well. Uh, and the pants, okay. Great. And then you set a rail. Mm -hmm. You need to wait for some more iron to smell. Oh, and I already have a torch, so I can just put that over there. Okay. So I'm guessing the recipe for a rail is the same as it is now. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, do I have a minecart yet? Um, no, you do not. Okay. I actually am going to make two minecarts because I want to I show you something regarding the minecarts. If I remember right, uh, they're a little strange in this version. Oh, yeah, you can't break them, right? Yeah, you can't break them and you can, like, store items in them. And the, the model, like, changes depending on how many items are in them. Interesting. Um, so I guess it was like what a storage minecart is now, basically, is what they wanted minecarts to be. <laughs> and you, like, couldn't ride in them. Hmm. Um, so I guess I've shown that before on a previous stream, so I don't, I don't need to waste five iron on that. Okay. But I can make another one of these. Also, the, the texture is broken. Like, hmm. like, they look normal in the real world. I actually am going to make another one. In the real um, world? In, well, you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> if I go out here, and I place this down, it doesn't let me. If I... Like, you can see it looks normal, right? But, yeah, yeah. you can put stuff in it. And it, it has this, like, this texture that shows up and, like... This texture moves upward as the minecart gets filled up, which is kind of interesting. Cool. 
Um, but then, yeah, you can't, like, break it. Maybe if it fell into lava, I don't know if it would break then. Um, I'm just going to leave this up here, I guess. And then I'll go make another one. Yeah, I don't know why the 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 texture is broken when it looks normal. Although it is kind of floating. Anyway. Okay, so what else can I make now? Do I have the stone tools? Uh, let me check. Yes, you do have okay. all the stone tools, except you don't have stone. Oh, okay. I do have cobblestone, though, I'm guessing. Yes. Okay. I would assume so. Let me check. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Do I have coal? Uh, yes. Do I have charcoal? And also, is there charcoal? <laughs> uh, it does not look like there is charcoal. Okay. I guess I, there's not really anything that you can craft with stone in this version, is there? Like, there's no redstone yet. You can make a stone slab? Oh, yeah. Make you make that with cobblestone? Right, my bad. I think. Maybe that's true. Um, or maybe you do need stone for that. Let me, let me check. I have no idea. Yeah, it's cobblestone. I don't think you could make stairs yet, or else I probably would have. Yeah, you can't. Okay, so I'm going to go take what we have here down to the, the place. We wagger. I suppose. Oh, I could have made a bucket. Whatever, I'll do it later. On the next trip. Oh, I could have made a block of iron too. Anyway. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, we've got the iron stuff. So after gunpowder, which I don't have, but after after gravel is going to be the iron axe. And then boots, chest plate, helmet, toe, ingot, or pants. I put the pants where the helmet was supposed to go. Um, Pants, pickaxe, and then shovel, and then sword. Okay, cool. And I already had an iron ingot. Okay, for some reason I thought I didn't yet. Maybe I was thinking of the gold ingot. Okay, cool. So that knocks off all of the iron stuff. Um, I mean, we still need, um, the buckets, though, which I guess are made out of mm -hmm. iron. But after planks is going to be a rail, and I didn't bring the rails with me. <laughs> uh, oops. Okay. Anyway, mine cart is going to be after the log. And then stone is going to be before the stone axe. And the wooden tools are going to be down here. So we have... After the stone tools, stone sword, and then string, TNT, torch. And then water bucket, wheat, wheat seeds, white wool, wooden axe. And then wooden hoe, wooden pickaxe, wooden shovel, and wooden sword. Oh, oh, never mind. I was, I was looking at the spreadsheet and I saw cobblestone stair and I thought, 
hold on a minute, you can't make cobblestone stairs yet. And then I realized it was the start of the next version. <laughs> okay, so that's a good amount of items right there. That is, yeah. We a lot of progress. We have like a quantifiable. Oh, let me let me see. I think in Google Sheets, if I just like select these, it'll tell me how many are. No, it won't. Okay. Can you count if Okay, we have 54 out of 96 mm. for this version, which is pretty good. I mean, that's more than half. All right, and it's dark out. Maybe the game doesn't pause when you pause. No, it pauses. Okay, it's just already dark. Okay, so what to make next? Let's see. Question. What what do, you, what do you got remaining? We wanted to approach it from that angle. Mm -hmm. Wait, don't you have a brown mushroom? Oh yeah, I do. Um, yeah, and I can make mushroom stew as well if I have another red mushroom. Yeah, if you have those. I don't have another red mushroom. Ooh. Okay. So anyway, brown Let's mushroom. See. Do you remember where that lava source is? Because then you could make a lava bucket. Because I oh yeah, that's a good idea. Down. I'm gonna make three buckets, and also a water bucket. Yeah, and a bucket. Oh, I already have a bucket in the spreadsheet, <laughs> and I don't have a water bucket though, so I'll just make two. Oh, you can stack buckets. Oh, hello. Oh, everywhere. Spider jump scare. There you go. String. Why? Why he move like that? What's up? He was like moving backwards. Oh, I didn't. It didn't look weird to me. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm gonna make some bread. Okay. So I can go get water now. Is this a creeper explosion? I don't know how this happened. I'm gonna fix that. Oh, and in this version... Is this still a thing? I can't remember. When you take damage, like your armor takes damage, it like reduces the amount of like protection that you have. Well, I don't feel like that's a thing now. That's definitely uh, not a thing now. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So lava okay to get lava we have to go all the way back to the <laughs> the cave and i guess from going back to the cave i should bring like stuff to go caving as well mm -hmm. so we'll get another pick a little bit of iron And I should probably bring a crafting table with me. And I feel like I'm going to forget to make a furnace if I don't just make one right now. Okay. Awesome. And we'll stop by the museum on the way and drop off this other stuff that we got. Mm -hmm. 
I want to put stairs there once they add in stairs. I saw that uh, bright green leaf block out there and I thought it was a creeper for a second. Um, okay, so string is after the stone sword. And then a water bucket is after the torch. A rail is going to be after the planks. And a brown mushroom is going to be after bread. Okay, cool. And I need to update the OBS text. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice, um, like, if I could get it set up so that OBS, like, reads from a spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was somehow like not local <laughs> and also doing that at the same time, it would be cool. Cause I could just like ask you to check stuff off and then OBS would update too. Yeah. I know there is a, a thing in OBS where you can like have it like display a web page. It can be um, local. Ish. What do you mean? Uh, Google drive has a thing where you can mount google drive as a on Linux. file yes oh huh. i'm pretty sure you can do it i've done it before so it, it just like makes it look like a, a file system right and then i would need to i mean i guess it would is it like a proprietary format for google sheets or ah uh, that's a good how question. would i parse it <laughs> yeah because i'm thinking i could make a little a little python script that's just like um you know watch this file system for updates and when you see one like update the this other file that is displayed by obs i don't know if there's a lot of ways to do it um but the thing about it displaying a web page uh like there is apparently official like obs code out there like it's in the obs repository to have like the web page display mm -hmm. but it's like removed from the debian package because debian has a policy that they have to be able to like build all the packages themselves and something about the it uses chromium and chromium build process is weird and so that they, i don't know it's like not mm -hmm. in the debian package <laughs> that specific component um, but I mean, I, I, and I don't really want to compile OBS from source and like have to remember to update it separate from everything else. Um, so I, I would, I would like to avoid the like web page module, mm -hmm. but just like reading from a file is, is, is doable. This is very like. Uh, hmm. I wonder if there's like easy ways to just like have a program run on my computer and just like pull like once a minute open the google sheet and look at it but then I don't know how it would like it would need to like log in wouldn't it although no I have the google sheet public don't I yeah hmm. I wonder so maybe you could just get a link to the download for the csv maybe and then just um, pull i know you can publish like google documents as like html pages that like dynamically update um like there's like a the button is like called publish i think and it just like it makes like a url that is just like html of the google document without all of the like google document ui so i wonder there's probably another thing like that for google sheets um but I don't know, like, how often it updates is the problem with that. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. I don't need to update the list very often. <laughs> so it doesn't that really matter anyway. True. Um, I could have sworn there was a a uh, cave over here somewhere. But now I can't seem to find it. Hmm. I guess we'll just have to find like another cave somewhere. And not get lost in the process, hopefully. Oh, I don't think I had a rose before, by the way. I picked up a rose. Oh, there you um, go. So, we'll, we'll get something out of this trip, even if we don't go caving. <laughs> it's interesting how the clouds are, like... The clouds are just, like, s solid white in the newer versions, right? I think so. But they're, like, like really transparent. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the here they're, they're like, treated. very obviously not solid white. <laughs> yeah. It would be cool if they, like, slowly got darker over a period of, like, a few minutes before it started to rain. That would be kind of cool, actually. You could just see the water cycle occur before your very eyes. <laughs> Minecraft uh, weather report. <laughs> My, I, I want to do that Minecraft, like, totally down the line, that Minecraft climate change plugin, where, like, the more, like, mining coal and, like, oh. burning furnaces, it, like, causes worse things to happen. Yeah. That's a cool I idea. Think that, I think that would be interesting, but... It, it would be like a one-off well no it couldn't really be a one-off thing because you have to like start Deal building up in <laughs> you know, quote unquote infrastructure to actually start the effects of the plugin right Damn, right back i'm getting a blanket all right I, I would like to find a cave somewhere around here to go caving in. That is, I guess, technically a cave, but... Hmm. Okay, if I ever do get lost, at least I know I was, like, on a shore, so I can just, like... As long as I don't cross the water, I can just, like, find the water and then... Assuming that shore wasn't just like a giant lake. And I'm not able to hook that for. Okay. Is that a cave? I don't think it is. This might be a cave though. Nope. Um. Yeah, I don't know if there's like a better strategy for finding caves aside from just walking around. I guess there's always strip mining, but like I said, I don't really like that. Oh, there's a red mushroom. Okay. So now we can make mushroom stew when we get back. That cave is probably not very big. I should be careful too about my sword uh, durability. So eventually it will break and I will not have a sword anymore. Um, mm -hmm. This is kind of interesting how the... Oh, you're back. This is kind yeah. of interesting how the terrain here generated higher than the clouds. I mean, obviously now it does that a lot, that the terrain generates a lot higher, but I, I didn't know that it did that all the way back now even. Also, just like, that 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 is quite a throwback. Like, the clouds just simply smashing into a mountain <laughs> that is that's a throwback 
Um, I don't know if you saw or not. I got a, a red mushroom. Oh, nice. No, I slipped out for a minute. Mm, that looks like a cave. Oh. And I'm not being more careful. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best way to get down here? Looks like this is. Okay. <laughs> and the cave I saw has disappeared. Oh, there is my sword. Okay, this still it's there. Like that game we played yesterday, the Catacombs of whatever. Oh, the the Catacombs of Solaris. Yeah, where you you move and the entire geometry. <laughs> uh, yeah, that for Minecraft would be like honestly that would be kind of like a good prank. You just give somebody like. Like I, I, I was able to find a leaked version of, of, of the newest snapshot for 1.21 and then like they stop to look around and then they start moving and it's just <laughs> everything is wrong. I think it'd be a good prank anyway. Um although what did the 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 um the live overflow video we watched say uh a prank has to like for it to be a good prank, it has to take at least as much effort to execute as it takes to, like, recover from it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I think that would be a pretty high effort thing. To, like, re-implement Catacombs of Solaris on, like, Minecraft world generation level geometry. Like, when you <laughs> stop, it generates a new Minecraft world. <laughs> Um, I haven't seen any caves that are, like, sufficiently big, also. Which is a bit worrisome. That, I'm thinking, probably goes nowhere. The clouds were a lot lower. <laughs> Like, I, I guess I didn't realize until there was, like, a mountain for them to go through. Yeah. That's, I mean, also, though, I kind of like how the world, the world just, like, feels smaller in these older versions. It feels more sandboxy and less, like, um, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, the newer versions, the generation is more varied and more realistic, but, like, I kind of, I kind of like the, the simplistic vibe that the generation has. Although I am getting kind of tired of looking at the same color green everywhere. Just put like a orange, you know, those blue light filters. Oh, <laughs> I, um... <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, that didn't really, oh, that grass just grew right in front of us. Um, oh, let's go. Now we're caving. Oops, I just fell. Yeah, it. I mean, even if I look at a lot of viewers, it just it feels nice to just have this documented. Be like, no, mm -hmm. I really did get all the items. Um, why did I place that? Furnaces take a long time to break in this version. But the the way that like a pickaxe breaks. Or when a pickaxe breaks, you don't get the block that you were mining. 
Um, like so far, it's only really been ores that that's happened on for me. But I imagine it would be really annoying if it's like something more valuable. <laughs> yeah. Like mining a, a chanting table or something. Yeah. Although, enchanting tables were released 1.0, right? Minecraft trivia time. Single viewer, cast your vote. <laughs> I vote 1.1. Yeah, it was 1.0. Okay, so then they probably fixed it by then. <laughs> probably. Well, I mean, who knows? Maybe it's not a bug. I mean, if your if your pickaxe like breaks in half, it's gonna like become sharper and possibly damage the thing that you're mining. <laughs> Makes sense to me. It's sort of interesting that SpongeBob server I was talking about before. Mm -hmm. Um, they're like, uh, I I saw a lot of people when they first reopened the general saying like somebody will say something bad and then somebody else is gonna like like report the message and then Discord is gonna notice that there's like a SpongeBob piracy server and they're gonna shut it down. Um, and anyway, now they have like. A like moderator like support ticket system where you can like report a user like to they, they've made like a parallel like structure for like reporting users so that it doesn't have to touch like discord it's staff cool. so that they don't realize that there's a spongebob episode server <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> all of that effort for spongebob.md4 <laughs> <laughs> they briefly had do you remember when we all watched the the fnaf movie after it came out mm -hmm. that was where i got that mp4 it was it was it was in that server uh... briefly and then it got deleted later but that makes sense but i mean i still feel like like i have a paramount account so like i could watch spongebob or uh uh five nights at freddy's movie like legally <laughs> mm -hmm. it's it's just more convenient to like open up discord and it's right there you know <laughs> don't have to remember my password or any of that stuff i mean i guess i need my discord password but i'm logged into discord everywhere Um, I don't have any pull. I haven't seen any lava yet in this cave. I guess we haven't gone down far enough. Oh, there's some. <laughs> awesome. So there's our lava bucket. This is a certified lava moment, a, a, a moment, if you will. Yeah, I don't think you can make that sound good. <laughs> Liz, oh, the cats are causing problems. Uh oh. As usual. This is 100% totally completely off topic. Mint Mobile, not Mint Mobile, just Mint, it was like a budgeting app. 
Okay. And it got bought by Credit Karma. Mm -hmm. And I use both. I've used I use Mint and I use Credit Karma. Mm -hmm. When they bought Mint, they shut it down. And they're like, we're gonna have something, you know, the same in the Credit Karma app, and they don't. <laughs> I understand they're working on it, but like, like why did they shut it down before they <laughs> Yeah, made the new thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's, like, it, that's it, it, it was quite nice. Um, I need to find some coal. So I can make some torches for some. <clears throat> yeah, I, I had at one point been trying to put like the date that we got every item. Um, so that we could like look at like a graph over time. And then mm -hmm. for some reason I decided not to do that. Now I can't remember what the reason was. <laughs> but I mean when when this series takes off and there's like uh, one of every block dot wiki they'll figure it out for us that's so true <laughs> people online are, are, are just kind of nuts mm -hmm. i mean if you if you have a, a big enough you could like you could crowdsource that one person watches each stream Still no diamonds. Diamond or did generate in this version? Can you can you determine if that's true, Ethan? Let's find out. History. Added diamond or in it was originally referred to as emerald ore. Yeah. Uh oh. Diamond ore no longer generates. Diamond ore lobs now generate. Um, what version are we on? Uh, this is twenty ten oh six eighteen. Diamond ore no longer generates. Oh, diamond That's... ore no longer regenerates. Regenerate. Um, <laughs> but it does generate? It looks like it does generate. Okay. The, a nice part of multiplayer is I can, like, have you do the caving for me. <laughs> I mean, you like caving, right? That is true. I do like caving. A lot more than I do. <laughs> I enjoy just, like, turning my brain off and holding down left click. I think that mm -hmm. is, like, a very good use of my time. <laughs> you couldn't open to land this version, could you? No, you couldn't. Okay. I was going to say, we, we might just be able to multiplay it right now. The shadows also, the way that the shadows are messed up, we, we, we've talked about this before, but I just like remembered it. It's really strange. It, it, it has a vibe. Okay. And no iron ingots. We are going to obtain some iron here pretty soon. Here, I'm actually uh, getting hungry, so I'm going to go make a sandwich, then I'm going to come back. All right, I will 
entertain viewers as they arrive. All right. So I guess I'll mute my mic and I'll go to the be right back screen. Waka 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 waka
All right, I have returned. It was a very tasty sandwich. What, what, what are we marching today? Oh, it was just a peanut butter and jelly. I see. It was, it was pretty tasty, though. I enjoyed it. I, so, I enjoy um, peanut butter and jelly every once in a while. I know you don't. <laughs> um... Then I was allergic to peanuts. For context, anyway, uh, I I I put the um, no, you weren't at the store with me last time I went. Um, I got like strawberry uh, preserves. Mm -hmm. And because usually I just do like grape jelly, that's like my, my typical uh, jelly situation, but. Mm -hmm. I actually, I like the strawberry a lot more. Anyway, anybody watching this who's looking for jelly recommendation, um, strawberry is my go-to flavor. Well, flavor is not the right word, because it's actually like made of strawberries, but you know what I mean. My go-to variety. Okay. So I'm just gonna let that iron smelt and I'm gonna like keep gaming and then we'll come back to it. So <clears throat> it's always good to get more gold because eventually we do need to make all that gold armor and all the gold tools and get uh, gold itself, of course, the ingot and the the uh, ore um, and the block of gold. So I'm always happy to see gold, but I kind of feel like I might have enough iron. I don't know. I'm going to keep mining the iron anyway. There's not that much of it. But I still haven't seen a single diamond yet, which is really strange to me. Yeah, I... Again, from what I read, it still generates. <clears throat> it they generate in, like, lobs or something? I have no idea yeah. what that means. I think but... that just means like this, right? Like, in veins. Mm, I guess. Like maybe it, maybe they didn't used to be veins. I don't know. Like, does it does it later say switched from blobs to something else? That's a good question. Let me check. All right, Control F for blob. Anything? Um, it looks like the term is still blob. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So that just means like a vein. Yeah, I, that's, I've always that's called what it I've always vein. called it. Yeah. But the word specifically says blob, and it says like talking about the generation for the current version. Matter of fact, going all the way down to. Why did I just run out of breath? 1.17 they're they're calling them but oh wait there's a link to blobs oh. and not to be confused with or vein or blob what is the difference well yeah i don't understand what does that mean <clears throat> An ore is a feature consisting of natural deposit of ores or other blocks in the ground. The a ore what? feature has, it's called a feature. Hmm. A feature are small decorators generated in each chunk after right. terrain generation. Yeah. So that's like trees and stuff fall into that category too, right? 
Let me check. No. Oh. A forest rock, iceberg, blue ice, freeze top layer, ice spike, ice patch, lava lake, disc. Are trees like their own category? <laughs> I guess so. These appear to be like kind of rooms, if you will, or like generations that are not like villages. Yeah. Huh. Um, <clears throat> an ore blob is an ellipsoidal cluster of blocks. Okay. So, I'm assuming it's just like when you eventually get like a, a sort of cave thing going on. They spawn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there are diamonds. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that is my understanding. <laughs> um, where was my furnace? I thought it was over here. Oops. Not that way. Hmm. Oh. Oh, here it is. Okay. And it still hasn't finished smelting this. Okay, well, I don't need the rest of this. That bad. Okay. Yeah, I, um, the last time when I had that world corruption, mm -hmm. it happened, uh, I like I'm trying to think of what I could possibly have done that made that happen and I ha I think I had some iron smelting when I quit the world right before that happened mm -hmm. and so I, for, I I have no idea if this is the case or not but I I have this like feeling that like I shouldn't leave the world while a smelter is active <laughs> while a furnace is active so before, like, I was about to quit the game, and then I was like, let me just keep it paused. <laughs> that's on smelting. I have no idea if that's, like, actually what it is, or if I'm just being paranoid, but... Oh, let's go. There's iron back here. I thought there was going to be more cave, but... Oh, there is more cave. Okay. Although I've already been over there. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, I, I'm finding streaming to be um, fun, so I think I might, like, if I were able to do it more often, I would want to, like, play some other games, too. Yeah, like, maybe play mm -hmm. Purple Space Program or stuff like that. Um, but at the moment, you know, since I, I barely stream ever, I, and I want for this, uh, series to be like the main thing for as long as it lasts um i, I kind of feel like since i don't stream very often it like i should like just do this <laughs> mm -hmm. if that makes sense so that this doesn't take um so that i make like some progress on this i don't want to say so it doesn't take forever because that makes it sound like i'm not having fun doing it when i am but i want to like actually actively make progress on this that is scary um, yeah, no, I never, yeah. But definitely, I mean, like, I don't know, if I suddenly get more free time, I, I kind of would like to do this more often. Mm-hmm. But when we get that free time, who knows? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, definitely. I think the rest of the semester is going to be just as busy for me as it's been. <laughs> uh, 
So it would be like next fall at the earliest. <laughs> so anyway. And by that point in time, maybe I'll be like bored of streaming. <laughs> We'll have to wait and see. Oh, Bobby. Hello. I keep forgetting uh, you can just spam click. Like, it is so ingrained into my mind now to wait after each click. Which is weird, because at first it was hard to get used to. <laughs> Well, I'm ready to go back up to the house. Um, I think I've gotten everything that was down here in this cave. So we'll go back up here and see if we see any more branches. I think I came from this way. I've been doing the thing where you put the torches on the right side of the wall. And so that way, like, to get out, you just mm. walk with the torches on the, your left. That's smart. Uh, This way. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. <laughs> okay. I actually don't think I've been down here. And this is empty. Okay. Oh, it's not empty. Ooh, look at that. Let's go. All right, the delay is a little bit longer now, but we, <laughs> we, we've made it. Very first one, and there's a cave right under it. Confirm. Let's go, diamond. Diamond is real. OK. That's awesome. And this goes nowhere. Okay. So now we have one diamond. <laughs> and we need, how many do we need? A lot. <laughs> we need 24 for all the, the armor. And then we need enough for all the tools. And then we need one. And then the block. And then three more for a pickaxe to get obsidian. So... A lot, in other words. Um, I just went in a circle. Well, I'm going to go in the same circle again, I guess. This way. And then this way. I recognize this area. I may have just gone in another circle, though. Oh, what's up here? Water is kind of annoying. <laughs> True. Even in real life, I hate water. <laughs> oh, I was already up here before. Um, what's over here? Hmm. 
it's not it. Okay, well, the putting the torches on the left side thing is not helping as much as I thought it would. Because you said right side the first time. Oh, I, I meant to say right side, excuse me. Putting them on the right side is not helping me as much as I thought it would. Uh, hey, what's up there? I haven't even been down here. I guess there's no way to get diamonds other than like mining them, right? No, I don't think so. I mean, you could do trading, but this is like in yeah, depth. trading. <laughs> uh, well, as much as I hate it, I might have to just like dig my way out of here. <laughs> um, unless what's up here. Oh, there's more unexplored cave up here. Wait, why is the sun? Did I come from up here? No. Okay, I have no idea where I came from, so I'm just going to like keep exploring and then dig my way out when I'm done. <laughs> What is your favorite block in this game? My favorite block in the game Minecraft Vilify Mojang. Mm -hmm. Um I've always really liked how blocks of iron looked or like smooth quartz blocks. Like any of those not quite white but pretty white blocks. Always been a fan. Are we talking about functionality or aesthetics here, though? Ooh, um, that is Ron. <laughs> this is the like the 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 classic look for them, yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> Very different from what we have now. I liked. I mean, and then in between, they had they had all those like horizontal stripes on them at the end of programmer art. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've, I've always been a fan of. Right. Not that though, not not that. In in terms of blocks that are, like their function, um, I'm a big fan of hoppers. Oh yeah, hoppers are pretty cool. Hoppers are pretty cool. What about you? What what are your, aesthetic and functional? references in Minecraft game blocks. I'm trying to think. Um I mean the bone block is a good one for that the the reason you were talking about just like mm -hmm. being white. Um <laughs> well you know what I mean. <laughs> I know what and then mean. what else? Let's see. That's kind of a difficult one. So I mean path blocks are pretty cool. I forget when they added those. Was it 1.9? Half blocks? Yeah. Hold on. Am I out of the loop here? Oh. Okay. No, I know what that is. Never mind. Oh, campfires? I think that was 1.14? Or was it 1.15? Uh, I don't Mm 
1.14. I like those a lot. I don't use them as much as I should. But, I mean, they look cool and they're functional. Mm. So it's a best of both words kind of deal. Worlds yeah. kind of deal. Let me mm -hmm. use the English language in the way it was intended. How am I back here again? I'm back in the building. <laughs> Oh, huh, that's confusing to me. I don't understand how I ended up there again. <laughs> Favorite uh, Minecraft content creator? Well, okay, you get to keep your mod. <laughs> um, <laughs> just kidding. No, but like other other than me, of course. I don't really watch. I mean, when I was younger, I really liked Seth Blaine. Yeah, I liked him a lot. When I was younger too. I did not really watch any of the. I was. I never watched Let's Plays really growing up. I really? wasn't really interested in them. Hmm. I, I I did not watch Captain Sparkles and all those people. So you were no. one of those people that was like, why Why would I want to watch somebody else play a game when I could just play a game? Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's I mean, 100%. You, don't, you don't enjoy the like. <laughs> what is this shadow? Hmm. You see this shadow next to Yeah, Kirby? I do. Is it Maybe from the player model? I assume so. Yeah, because even if I'm not holding anything, oh, huh, I've never noticed that before. Has it? Has it been doing that? Um, I have not noticed it until you pointed it out. Oh no, it's not. It was had to do with where I was standing. Is it because of this torch? I can't get it to do it again. Huh. Just like some random 32 bit floating point number was produced, and you got the one value <laughs> that made that happen, and it has never been seen and will never be seen again. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so, we were talking about Minecraft YouTubers. Yes. Yeah, I. Uh... I, I, I did watch some stuff playing. A while back. I haven't watched him any recently. Um, Captain Sparkles, of course. I think so. I think Captain Sparkles might have retired. Is that true? I heard that he retired. Hey, Seth Blaine does, like, speedrunning now. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I mean, I think... I mean, I think he did, like... Uh, what's it called? Um, like, sup uh, Super Mario World, like... Any percents yeah. back in the day, and like, or did didn't he come up with the like a like massive credits warp in that? Yeah, he did. Or at least he was the one who pulled it off. Hmm. I don't know. And it had. I remember watching a video about it about how like there was like it it essentially it was like an arbitrary like a like a buffer overflow into like code that would get executed and then you just yeah. had arbitrary code execution but you had to like do some weird stuff to write the specific values that you wanted it was it was a very neat uh method no i remember that video i remember you like look at speed vendors are just insane <laughs> And he did uh, Mar Io, didn't he? The like yes. training a neural network to play Super Mario World. I remember I was in like high school during that time, and mm -hmm. I would be during lunch. I ate in like the engineering room, and I would just pull that up because I think he streamed it. Did he? I don't like, remember. A very long period of time, and I just sit down and like watch the streams. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's fascinating to just like see it like evolve over time. Yeah. Because it's like you can make out like coherent strategies, especially with earlier generations. Oh, here's 
the surface. Yeah, I want to. I, I think I told you I want to do something similar for some other games. Mm -hmm. I think it would be fun. But I mean, I'd have to like read a lot about how that stuff works first. And I'm sure, yeah. like, I probably sound like somebody who is massively underestimating the like difficulty of <laughs> doing that. But I, I realize it would like not be easy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I I used to watch uh, Kurt J. Mack a lot. Do you know that guy? No, I don't. He has the Farlands or Bust series. I think I know what that is. Is that the one where he's like trying to get to the Farlands? Yeah, so back in like 2011, he started like a Minecraft Let's Play. And then he was like, oh, I heard about this this stuff called the Farlands. Um, isn't that weird? Wouldn't it be funny if we walked there? And then he like started walking and it has been 12 years. <laughs> and he is still walking. Oh my God. Um, he's, he's, he like streams it now. He used to just like record it, but now he streams it. And it's just, it's essentially just like, like, like chill to hang out and talk. And also he is walking. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, it's there's some interesting stuff that happens where like, I mean, you know about floating point precision. Um, yeah. The further you get out, like he's gotten to the point where it's like, the 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 floating point like, minimum, uh, representable change is like a quarter of a block, and so everything mm -hmm. is like it looks kind of strange. <laughs> it, it actually it looks pretty good except for like, items. And the world, I guess items are in like player space, but um, the world is in like relative to like zero zero of the world. Right. So like as you walk, um, the world like jumps around, but the items don't, uh, hmm. which is kind of weird. And like the hitboxes, I think, are relative to you, so the hitboxes don't match up with the world. Um, hmm. like like visually anyway. I don't know about graphically but it's interesting um but yeah, i used to watch him a ton when i was younger i like he would he would always like raise money for charity as he did it. i think he still does but he changed the charity i think from what it used to be um it used to be a charity that would like buy like games to bring to like children that are like in the hospital mm -hmm. um i think it's pretty neat and i like donated to him like back in the day it's the only like streamer or YouTuber that I've ever like donated to, but it wasn't really to him. It was like to the charity. Um, I had a point here. Oh yeah, I I actually I learned about him because I used to like just like scour the Minecraft wiki for like interesting factoids to share at lunch, um, <laughs> and like. <laughs> I was on the page on the Far Lands, and I was like, "That's pretty weird." And then it was like, uh, "Kurt J. Mack is 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 one percent of the way there," and I was like, "Who's this guy?" <laughs> and that was how I like learned about him. He's, I think he's like not even halfway there. <laughs> but I mean, it's the point is to have fun, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, and also, I'm lost. The shadows. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really watch him very much anymore because I used to find his videos just like I would just sit there and I would like, I started at the very first one and I was like slowly making my way towards like the present day because I didn't learn about him until like years after he started. Um, but I don't know. Nowadays, it's just it doesn't hold my attention as much as it used to. But mm -hmm. I think it is still like a really cool thing that he's doing. Um, I popped into one of his streams recently, and somebody in the chat was like, "What are you gonna do when you get there?" And he was like, "I don't know. Retire." <laughs> <laughs> he is so real for that. <laughs> But yeah, I watched some 
some other i mean he was involved in um a group of minecraft youtubers called mindcrack back in the day i don't mm. know if he still is um but i watched like a lot of the people that were involved in that um, i think that's where i learned about is, isn't etho in minecraft is that true i don't know who that is okay etho's lab um <laughs> I, I watched those lab okay yeah i um I watch him a lot now. I've been like making my way through his Let's Play series for like a few years now, <laughs> just like on and off. Um, and I'm up to like, I think it's like 2016 or so that I'm up to. So I'm still very behind, but I I really like um, the way that he does his videos. It's just like, it's very, like technical sometimes. Mm -hmm. But he mixes in like building and like silly stuff as well. Um, but especially like in in he one of the updates like broke his world and so he just like made a new world and he called it like season two. <laughs> it was like a hundred <laughs> episodes in and now he's on episode like uh I think like six hundred something and it's still season two. <laughs> um but what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, in the first season of it, he did like, like this was like, obviously pre, one point five. He started back in like beta, I think. Um, and so there were no like poppers or anything, but he was like making like mob farms and like figuring out like how the mobs worked like back before it was very well documented, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, and that was really cool to watch, just like the research. Um. I've encountered the shore, and I've not encountered my house. Whoa. Oh, okay. We need to figure something out. What's up? If I lose the museum, do I have to start over? Don't lose the museum. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, if I can't find it. Um... Because I want to have it all in one place, you know? Yeah, no, you should... Find I museum. say <laughs> no, you don't start over. You just kind of continue, and then once you're done, you can, I guess, spawn those items back in. Because you did get... Oh, I don't want to do that. That's, that's no fun. I, I got to find the museum, I think. Right. I mean, I get what you're saying about, like, I did get them, but I don't know, it just feels wrong. <laughs> On the other hand, where is it? <laughs> uh, I know it was on the water. Um, I could, what, I could, I could, I could watch, uh, the stream later and, like, Dead Reckon. <laughs> You know? Mm hmm And just, like, figure it out. Um, but that sounds not very enjoyable. I actually have to head out for a while. Um, All right. So, goodbye, Twitch. I might be back eventually. All right. And... I'm probably going to call it pretty soon here anyway, and then the next episode can be, like, finding <laughs> the way back. Um, but yeah, thanks for thanks for joining me. Of course, no problem. And now you have gunpowder. Oh, yeah, you're right. I didn't even notice that. Not enough to so, make TNT, but enough to have the gunpowder. Yeah. All right, twitch.tv. I bid you all adieu. Thank you for joining us. I'll, no I'll, I'll talk to you later today. Yeah, of course. See you around. See ya. Right. So, I am legitimately lost. That cliff face looks familiar, but also, I mean, I think there were a lot of cliffs that looked like that in this version. Yeah, and that floating stuff over there does look familiar. 
So I don't know what I'm going to do here. Hmm. I guess I could conceivably like look at, I mean, this is, no, is this cheating? I'm not sure. If I were to look at the region files, like not, e not even look inside of them, just see which ones have been generated. Like the one that's furthest away from spawn is probably close to where I am. And then I could like figure out what direction I need to go to get back. Is that dirt over there? Oh, it's sand. Okay. I thought something was going on over there. Um, like I could conceivably do that though, like figure out where I am since we don't have coordinates. I mean, I also feel like though it would be once they add F3 in, it wouldn't be cheating to look at my coordinates. Um, and yeah, we can't see our coordinates in this menu. But I think once there are coordinates, it wouldn't be cheating to look at them. So maybe it wouldn't be cheating to uh, just look in the save file for my coordinates. I'm not sure. I'll have to think about what I think of that. Because if I can't find the thing, I don't really want to start over. And like Ethan said, I could just, I, yeah, I wouldn't really, like I've done all this work and I wouldn't want to just lose it all. Um, but I mean, the alternative is just like spawn in the items and that would, that would definitely be cheating, right? So. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably look at my coordinates in the save file, but obviously I'll, I'll think about it for a little bit first to see if I think that's a good idea or not. Hmm. But I mean, first I might just walk along this beach for a while, because I know I was on a beach, and I don't know if this beach will, like, connect up to it, you know? Because, like, I don't know enough about, like, the proportion of the world that is water in Minecraft to know if, like, because I haven't crossed any water yet. Um, so if I'm on, like, an island, I just have to go around it until I find where I was. But also, I don't know if it really works like that. Like, maybe um, the water I was on wasn't really the same ocean. It was just, like, a very large lake or maybe this is a large lake i don't really know whether this will bring me back but um i'm gonna try and go this way for a while anyway see what happens <laughs> yeah i i had a feeling i was gonna get lost and Uh, like I said, it's part of the Minecraft experience, and this was just a big lake over here. Uh-oh. Huh. It's part of the Minecraft experience to get lost, though, especially back before F3. So, and like I said, I want to I wanted play each version as though it was the newest version. And just like have fun with each one and have the the old experience you know because i i didn't start playing until i want to say it was late beta was the first time i played it was either late beta or early release and then i didn't actually have my own account until release 1.3 um so i kind of missed a lot of these early days and so it's, it's fun to just go through and like see what it was like um and this is probably an experience that many a person <laughs> had back in the day. Hmm. So many of these mountains look similar to each other, and it's kind of throwing me off. Because I'm like, I remember there being a weird flat mountain, but there's weird flat mountains all over the place. What is that? And this is infdev, not indev, so the world is actually infinite. 
uh, so that we might be getting, you know, even further away from home every step that we take. Which maybe means I should stop walking and figure out what my coordinates are. <laughs> that is some weird generation over there, but anyway, it is InfDev, and InfDev is all about weird generation, so not too surprising. But I think I'm going to call it here for today. Um, it's been a good stream. We made a good amount of progress. Um, how much gold do we have on us? Eight. Okay, so we still need to get a lot more gold and a lot more diamonds. But we did get one diamond, which is nice, and that one gunpowder. Um, and yeah, we're more than halfway there through this version, so... Although, I mean, it'll probably take longer to get that many diamonds than it took to get everything else we've gotten, so doesn't necessarily mean we're halfway through time-wise, but yeah. Before the next stream, I'm going to look at my um, save file to figure out my coordinates, and then we'll use that to go back to board 00. That's my plan. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, as I've said before, there's no real stream schedule. It's just whenever I feel like it. But yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, I will see uh, all of you, all zero of you, um, sometime in the future. Goodbye.